Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm quite excited about this thing. It's a Bosch Hydro Sensor WFP 3300. Not one I've ever seen before. Not in the cleanest of condition. Bit of rust on the bottom. And it looks like the door seal's gone, gone bad. But on the other hand, it's not in bad condition at all. It's got a couple of little scrapes couple of little scrapes and very bizarrely it has the uh, original plastic protective film on the door it's been out of commission for quite a while I think that's what I've been told it's missing the front fascia lower here but the lid top is there it's been stored in a barn for potentially a number of years and I've just plugged it in no idea what's going to happen. I've been told it doesn't work. It's not plumbed in, so I can't check anything like that. Let's try this button. Ooh, lights are on. The other thing is, it's never been wet, but it's not necessarily been dry. If it's been in a barn, it might have been damp. But it looks like it's okay. So it's on X. Let's try number four, the spin, six minutes, 800. Let's see, I haven't seen one of these before. Uh, it's got a little arrow each way, so if I go that way, it goes down. If I go this way, it goes up. It's only given me... Oh, okay, so that's, that's on woolens. So if I put it onto a cotton spin, it's up to 12 minutes, straight up to 1600. Well, spin. The control system seems to work. There's smoke coming out of it. Let's turn it off or will we just let it burn out i've turned it i won't go off now the on off button stuck and we've got a bit of smoke and that could be steam i don't like it so i want to let that dry out a bit first it's obviously not turning oh, and i can't turn it off fast enough okay so it's plugged out an engine has just started beside me. There's a problem with that motor control board and I really do not want that to get damaged. So there's a huge heat sink on top and there's some little fets there. The one in the center doesn't look like it's got much, uh, much heat proofing on it. Transistor one, I'd say that is GR9 or 14. If anybody has wiring diagram for this machine or for any of these Bosch WFF WFP WFK I'd be interested to see them because these are the machines that I really like I looked at it before and I found a number on this of 99 you can just see it in there uh, so I think it's 23 years old if today is the something I can't remember what date it is something of January 2022 23 years old this is a motor control board but it looks at things it might not be but i think it is and this is just uh, another control board that does all of the other things so if that's knackered then we're in a pickle but it might not be it might just have been steam from damp but equally that's not good so it might need a bath i might want to just take everything out and give it a wash and let it dry out in a warm place for a few days and put it back together that might be an idea too I did want to see about getting the door, but what was weird was it wouldn't wouldn't go off. So let's try turning it off here and plugging it back in again. So it's off and it's off there. I turned it on there. It's clear. I want to see if I can get the door open. And the door does work when it's turned on. No smells as yet. But uh, that rubber, that rubber has perished by the looks of things. It's it's not actually that bad. It's just dirty. It does go around. Okay, so that's something. This is a metal door, but it's a two-part metal door, so it's not like the Mila ones that are a cast single piece. Lots of various insects. Let's have a look at this here. So. WFP 3300GB slash 01 FD 7906 Now I think the 9 there might be 99 
but I don't know. And somebody will tell me straight away in the comments and I'll appreciate it. Various little insects or little casts of insects there. Let's try that one more time because I've not seen a door like this on a Bosch. That's not a crack, that's just a scar there. So let's press that. Pop. Okay, close that. Let's try it on a drain, see what happens. Click. Can't hear the pump doing anything. Nothing at all. We can have a look at it. It might be going around very silently. Very stiff that. It doesn't want to come out. Yeah, that's spinning. It's just that's spinning and there it's finished. And it beeps when it's finished. Put that up there. In here it's really clean. Don't want to leave that there, do I? Nope, I'll leave it like that. Inside there it's very clean. It's just that door seal and various dust inside. Let's switch it off again. That bit there is live. So let me try to plug it out again. There we go. Steel, not stainless steel necessarily. Let's get a magnet. So it's not stainless, but it's some kind of chrome steel or something that the magnet will stick to, but it won't rust. Cast iron spider on the back for holding the bearings and all. Concrete ring on the front as well, by the looks of things. Mains, mains suppressor, radio interference suppressor on the back there. Big pressure switch. So it looks like this board is working. This board is suspect. Motor could be suspect. Needs a clean. Needs a bit of a wipe down generally, but that's not a big deal. But overall, pretty nifty the fact that it has the blue plastic still on there. I'm not sure what to do about that. Because it's damaged, I might take it off and that might uh, be very satisfying and also kind of scary because it's been on there for 30 years. Around here on the side actually, has this thing. So it's an A rated 0 0.95 and uh, 1600 spin, I presume. Don't know what any of the other numbers, well, I don't know what any of the other numbers mean there, but that's the old rating system. So it would have been efficient in its time, but now they've changed the system from A with like 17 pluses down to what it is again now starting with a at the at the top w max 2300 13 amp fuse 1600 spin same numbers that were on the front apart from these right hot and cold fill as well we like a hot and cold fill or at least i do similar back to the bosch wff 1800 i think similar motor controls and all to the wfk 2800 but I'm making up, not making up numbers, but I'm not sure if I'm right. That's what I'm trying to say there. It'd be nice if it would work. So in a future video, we'll try that. Don't like seeing the smoke. If you know where there's one of those for sale, tell me about it. I haven't looked online yet. There's the numbers. That would be a help. I might get one of those for it as a spare. And uh, cheers to Andy for finding it and for going out of his way to save it for me. So thanks Andy, I'll put a link to your page up here, I guess. And uh, thanks to everyone for watching. Questions or comments, leave them below. See you later.